Anna, you've got a minute. Can you let me some money again? Maybe like 300 bucks? Mom, I told you last month I'm not giving you any more money. Stop leeching off of me. Seriously. No more. I'm finished. You're not getting a dime. Oh, come on. I'm your mother. Don't be so cruel, please. No, you never pay me back. I'm not lending you another dime. Oh, Anna, please. I need money to pay the heating bill. Please help me, dear. I'm gonna freeze to death out here. What if I really die? I'm your mother. You have to help me. You really want that on your conscience? Stop trying to put this on me. This is your fault, not mine. If you want money, stop wasting money on stupid things. And you know what I'm going through right now? My husband is fighting cancer as we speak. I got enough on my plate as is. Stop bothering me with this nonsense. I know that. I wish I didn't have to ask, but... I got bills to pay, and I'm in debt. Wait, what? Debt? You never told me that. I know. I knew you'd get bad, so I didn't tell you. Hold on. Wait. So you used up all the money Dad left you. And now you're in debt? You're joking me, right? Wow. Just wow. You're unbelievable. I don't even know what to say to you. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Please, Anna, you're the only one that can help me. I know you got your husband to take care of, but... I'm family too. Please, you can't just abandon me. Please help me. I helped you enough already. I'm through with you. I'm not that wealthy, you know. This is your problem, not mine. Figure it out. And even if I had the money to give to you, I'd rather spend it on my husband, you got that? Fine, fine, fine. I'll figure something out about the debt. But I need the $300, please. This will be the last time, I promise. That's what you always say, I don't trust you. You really expect me to believe you? How stupid do you think I am? But I'll freeze to death. You can't do this to me. Please, dear, I'm begging you. I'll get a job, I swear. Please. Uh, fine. But this is the last time. I mean it. If you try this again, I'm cutting all ties with you. You got that? You're a grown woman. Learn to take care of yourself. Oh, Anna. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know. I'm gonna get a job soon. I promise. Thank you so much. You're the best. Sorry for the late reply. I was busy. Is your husband okay? You at the hospital? What happened? Hope everything is okay. Anna? Hello? Mom, he just passed away. He went peacefully. Oh, I see. Good. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? How can you say that? Um, the thing is, your wedding rings. I sold it off, but he's dead now, so it doesn't matter, right? Wait, what? Our wedding rings? You sold it? What are you talking about? When I came over the other day for the loan, I looked around the house for valuables, and uh... I found some nice rings and watches, so I sold it. You guys weren't using it anyway, so I thought you wouldn't mind. I used the money to pay off some of my debt. I didn't waste it on stupid things, so... Are you serious? What the hell is wrong with you? Go get it back right now! He saved up years to buy me that ring. You realize that? What is your problem? And the watch. How is his favorite watch? But he's dead now. I don't see what the problem is. And you're single now, so who cares? It's gone now, so we gotta move on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what's the point of keeping something if nobody's gonna use it, right? You know I'm right. And I'm sure this is what he would want. Shut the hell up! You're insane! 
you're going to hell for this. Screw you. I'm done with you. You're dead to me. I want nothing to do with you anymore. Why are you so mad? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't think you'd make such a big deal out of it. I guess you really loved him. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Of course I loved him. When Dad died, you cried for days. Well, yeah, but I was just worried about money, that's all. He was supposed to take care of me. Never thought he'd die before me. What? So you were worried about yourself? I thought you were crying because you were sad. I was, but once you're dead, there's nothing you could do about it, so... Might as well move on, right? You're unbelievable. You don't have to understand, dear. We all process grief differently, so... Anyways, let me help you with the funeral arrangements. It's the least I can do after all the financial help you gave me. Just tell me what to do. Screw you! And don't come to the funeral! You're not welcomed. If you show up, I'm gonna lose it. Don't even think about it. Stay away! And the wedding rings? You're getting them back for me. No matter what it takes. What the hell, Mom? I told you not to come. Oh, come on. My daughter's husband died. I just wanted to pay my respects. Why did you have to kick me out? You embarrassed me in front of everyone. Hey, your respects? You gotta be kidding me. You probably came for the obituary gifts. You got some nerve showing up like that. You know that? Thank goodness my sister-in-law noticed you. You thief. Stop calling me that. Look, I had no choice, okay? I'm still in debt. I need the money. And I'm family. I'm entitled to some of that money. No, I don't think so. I'm using the money we got from our guests for my husband, not you. You're not getting a dime. Your husband was a kind man. If he was alive, he'd definitely help me out. Why can't you be more like him, huh? Some daughter you are. You should be ashamed of yourself. Seriously? Well, I'm embarrassed that you're my mother. Seriously. All you care about is yourself. You make me sick. How dare you talk to me like that? I raised you all these years. Apologize. You don't get to talk to me like that. Where did I go wrong with you? You should be ashamed. You barely did anything for me. Dad did everything around the house. All you ever did was the leech off of us. You're pathetic. You didn't raise me. Dad did, and you know it. What is your problem? Why are you so angry with me? Is it because I sold your ring? Is that it? If it was so important to you, why didn't you keep it on you at all times? We stopped wearing it when he got cancer. He lost a lot of weight, so the ring didn't fit anymore. That's why... We kept it in our bedroom, so we wouldn't lose it. That ring meant a lot to me. Oh well, it's gone now, so just forget about it. Move on! Old memories aren't worth anything, so... Memories are all I got now. And the rings? I got them back. Huh? I went around the city looking for pawn shops. They weren't that many, so it wasn't that hard. And when I told them what happened, they let me buy it back. What? You paid them? Seriously? Are you dumb? What a waste of money. What is wrong with you? I told you. That ring meant a lot to me. That's why. You want to understand. All you care about is yourself, so... And it wasn't a waste of money. Yes, it is. You should have given me that money instead. I only stole from you because you stopped lending me money. You know that? And whatever. In a way... I'm glad you stole from me. Huh? Why? Because now, I can press charges against you for theft. I'm going to the police. Police? Stop joking around. I'm your mother. I have no mother. Screw you. You're dead to me. You can burn in hell for all I care. 
Anna, hold on. Look, I apologize, okay? I'm sorry. Let's just leave the cops out of this. We can talk about this. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'll do anything you tell me to. Anything you want, honey. Anything, huh? Okay, then. Go kill yourself and burn in hell. If you can't do that, then you got no choice. You're going to jail. Once you're behind bars, hmm, I'll feel a little better. Stop kidding around. I can't get arrested. If I have a criminal record, how will I get a job? And what if the neighbors find out about this? I have a lot of friends. What would they think of me? So what? I don't care about any of that. All you ever did was bleach off of me. And when my husband died, you tried to take advantage of it. Then you stole my wedding ring and sold it off. Why should I help you, huh? After all the things he did to me. But I'm the only family you got left now. I'm your mother. I don't have a mother. She's dead. What? You heard me. You're dead to me now. I'm through with you. Once someone's dead, there's nothing you can do about it, right? You said it yourself. You're just a stranger to me now. You can do whatever you want now. Just leave me out of it. But, uh, I'm still gonna sue you for the damages. Sue me? Uh, yeah, you stole from me, remember? The money I had to pay the pawn shop to get it back? And for my pain and suffering. You'll hear from my lawyer soon. Anna, you can't just leave me like this. Not my problem. You're on your own now. And you got lots of friends, right? Ask them for help. Oh, come on. Please. You're the only one that can help me. Please help me. Please, I need you. I'm your mother. Screw you. And again, I don't have a mother. Anna, stop saying that. You're really not gonna help me? No. How many times do I have to tell you? You're not my family anymore. You're dead to me. Go to hell. A few weeks later, she got arrested for theft. But it was her first offense, so she didn't get any prison time. But I hired a good lawyer and sued her for the damages. She didn't have much cash, but she had a lot of jewelry and designer bags. She had to sell it all off to pay me back. Why didn't she just sell her own stuff if she needed the money? She was unbelievable. And now, she was on her own. And she was still up to her neck in debt. A few months later, she filed for bankruptcy. They took everything from her. She had nothing now. She tried to borrow some money from her relatives after that. But everyone knew about what she did. So nobody said yes. So she went to her friends, but... They all knew about what she did. So nobody was willing to help her. She was all alone now. She had nowhere to go. Not sure what happened to her after that, but... Not my problem. She can rot in hell for all I care. As for me, I was slowly getting my life back on track. Losing my husband was really hard on me. I thought about giving up many times, but... I was never the type to give up. And my relatives were really supportive. They all helped me to get through this. And the lawyer that took my case, he was a good friend of my husband. And my friends were there for me too. I had a lot of people looking out for me. And for that, I was grateful. Anyways, I'm just glad she's out of my life. <laughs>